Hi everyone, welcome back to Woods My Thing Workshop. Once again, I'm not actually in my workshop, but I'm going to explain why. Um, a few people have asked about which timbers are which and how do you tell the difference, so I thought I'd talk you through a few characteristics that you can look out for, just to give you an idea to help you when identifying your timbers. So, um, this is a dining table I made a few years ago, um, and it's a combination of, of timbers. We've got ash, cedar, ash again, maple, oak and white oak um, and I'll talk you through a few of the differences that you see just between even the two boards of ash. So here what you can see is the really deep grain and ash has like flecks in the grain that really run to it. This area of the grain is like the crown cut which is the very open grain and then here you've got much much closer together. You'll see the similarities in this piece of ash except we've got much, much better tonal changes, almost like olive ash coming in, where we've got the sandy ash colour and then like the deep browns. But again, you've still got the deep flecks of the grain and it's moving like some dark grain into its paler golden timber. So ash is generally a golden sandy colour with a deep, dark, really deep flecks in the grain. So that might be a good way of looking out for it. Moving on to this one in between, this is a piece of cedar. Now, cedar is a sort of more reddy, gingery brown, and as that ages, it will get darker. And the beautiful thing about cedar is, if it's untreated, if you get your thumb wet when you're looking at untreated ash and you just rub the, the wood itself, it will bring the oils to the surface and it will help with that smell. And cedar has got a really, really strong smell. You'll most commonly find it in the bottom of drawers, and that's because traditionally, um, a drawer base was made from cedar because moths don't like it, so it would help prevent moths from eating holes in your clothes. Um, cedar is very, very lightweight, very high in tannins, like I just said, the oils, which means it works well outside, um, but it's, it's got a really, good, a really good scent to it. So cedar is easy to depict when feeling the weight of it and getting the tannin to the surface and recognising that smell. The grain on cedar, as you can see, is very similar um, in colours and it runs through it. So it's not necessarily that that would highlight itself. Over here, talking about similar grain and the colour of the timber is maple. So maple is like a really creamy sand colour, like very, very pale. Sometimes it can almost be, you know, it's really close to white. And the thing about maple is the grain is very fine, so you don't have the deep flecks. Um, and if you just look there, you might see the very pink, faint um, grain running through the maple. You might also see the ripples running horizontally across the board, so perpendicular to the grain. And those ripples just, you know, really give it like a sense of character. Here we've got the oak. So again, like ash, oak has a very deep, flecky grain. But generally, you can tell the difference between oak and ash. One, because it's more of a more of a brown than a golden colour, obviously other than the white oak. Um, but also the grain is much closer together. So when you're looking at the grain, you can see it's much, much, much closer together. And that shows you that it's a really dense, slow growing timber. Oak is also very hard and very heavy in weight. And even the white oak, you can see that there's grain across the two look really, really similar. They've got the little flecks, and then they've got the deep grain here. But again, very uh, formed, very close together. And this one is slightly paler, and that is why this one is white oak. If I take you over to my front of my bar, you might remember this from a uh, handmade uh, finale. I've got three different timbers here, um, and this is a really good example of how different they can look and how you could identify them. So again, you've got the real creamy, um, almost white maple, very fine grain, very, very heavy maple, very, very dense. Pippi oak, all these little knots here, they, are, they, are, they stand for pippi oak, uh, very dark brown. And then we've got the ash with the really pronounced grain, really deep flex running through it. And we've got a combination of quarter sawn and crown cut boards here. Again, on the top, we've got oak, bit of maple sandwich between two pieces of oak and that is much more of a uh, you know a deep golden brown oak if you look up this end of the oak you might be able to see some white medallary rays running across the grain and they also run down the grain and medallary rays are like symbolic of oak it's just like something that we should really celebrate when we're using hardwoods natural materials um so yeah i hope that's helpful 
basically check the weight, check how close the grain is together, look at the, 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 the specific type of the grain um, and try and get a sense of smell out of it. If you can get the tannins to the surface, you'll get a good sense of smell out of some, uh, some timbers. I hope that's helpful and uh, see you again soon.